Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing great. Today I want to show you my police light for RC model. Or you can put it anywhere actually if you need a notification or whatever or put it on a drone. And uh, anyway, I want to show you the pieces how I made up this uh, acrylic version. But before we get to that, a little info about our sponsor PCBWay.com This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com Get your high quality PCBs from one place with instant online quotes. Select the features from various options, choose between advanced and standard PCBs, including flex PCB, assembly and stencils. But there is more. They also have online injection molding service, CNC machining with many materials to choose from, online sheet metal fabrication including laser cutting and bending, and of course 3D printing service with different plastics, even metal. PCBWay is the one company that you'll need. Okay, here I will show you now the each piece that I have. Uh, so this was the 3D printed version, which is also not bad, but uh, to be honest, I like the acrylic version better. So the acrylic version consists of four pieces. You have the bottom piece with two mounting holes and two holes for the wires. And then comes the frame, which does hold the PCB. I have still the protection paper on here so don't mind that and then you have another frame which is the height of the or the clearance for the neo pixels and then you have obviously the top so and all this screws together by those two holes with uh, m2 screws and this is how it looks like i put some uh, bigger brass uh, nuts on here so i can have it standing on my table <laughs> standing on my table <laughs> uh, anyway and this is how it does look like from the side and uh, be your own judge which one looks better and this is really bright at night. I mean, you can use this as any warning indicator or whatnot. Do not use it in your car because you will get in trouble. Uh, especially in the US where anything flashing and blinking LEDs or lights will be considered as uh, impersonating a police officer. So even if it's not that, even if you have lights underneath your car, they are blinking. They are illegal and you can upload as of course your own code as well I do have pads on here this is for USB adapter and this is for IPS connection so you can upload your own code to it and experiment with uh, different light sequences if you like so anyway this is it and I think it came out really great. Uh, on this version I'm using it uh, without an LDO, so up to 5 volt. And you see I have an old phone battery, which is 3.7 volts, uh, 3.6 volts. So it does work with the single LiPo battery as well, or you can connect it to a phone charger, anything with 5 volt. And if you get the version with the LDO, then you can connect it uh, to 12 volt directly. I think up to 20 volts if, I'm, if I remember correctly. And on that it also has a protection, uh, polarity protection diode, which in this case I did not use. And this is how it looks from the side, from the top and as i said it's really really bright and if you're somebody who likes blinking neopixels or leds 
and want to use it in your project this is really nice anyway thank you to all my supporters and uh, <clears throat> you can go also to my tindy store and see maybe you find something that you like and this is actually i showed this before as well i did create this as a keychain for my car a keychain for my car no it's a shape of my car it's a 300 c chrysler as it says on the uh, number plate registration plate number plate Oh, I'm, a little, I'm a little lost today so anyway sorry about that and uh, this has also different modes I did show this I just go quickly this is like full lights on you can use this as a flashlight as well regular high beams uh, low beams high beams uh, low beams with uh, fog lights hazard warning lights and then you have obligatory police lights it's just a single um not like a s single sequence not multiple sequences like this one and it has a red light for if you need light but at night but you don't want to get your eyes or all um how you call it blended in german well if you if it's not too bright to your eyes and it also has a green SOS signal and I tried actually with the small battery this runs for nine hours uh, I did choose green in color because it's the brightest you could do it in a different color as well and that's it it does get charged by USB type C and if I remember correctly, oh, the programming port is on this side. Anyway, if you're interested, please let me know. Thanks for watching and take care, everybody.